Welcome to Cartooning with Bigfoot, my name's Tony, and today's cool cartoon drawing is brought to you by Bigfoot graphics cartoonist and instructor, Brian Manning. Take it away, Brian. Hey guys, this is Brian again. Uh, a little while back, I, I drew something for, for a soccer team here in town, here in Temecula, and I just wanted to show it to you. It's like a, it's a ninja skunk, and they loved it, and I would love to show you how to draw it. So... I'm going to use a highlighter because it comes up better on the camera, but I want you to use a pencil and make sure to draw real lightly because you're going to want to erase most of the lines that I put down here. So first off, with your pencil real lightly, I'm just going to do the wireframe, which is just simple basic shapes, you know. I'm going to draw his head right here, and it's just a little circle. And remember, this is cartooning, so there's no rules. It doesn't have to be perfect. Another line here. It's for his body. And then we're going to do this for his hand, for his arm. And then I'm just going to add a little circle. And that's for his hand. Like I said, this is just the basic outline. So it doesn't have to be, they don't have to add the fingers, not just yet. So we're going to draw another another arm coming out here. And just like this hand, I'm just going to draw a circle. Because that's, that's where it's ultimately, ultimately going to be. But we'll add that in later. Here, we're going to add a leg down here. Bend it up. And then his foot, just a longer circle than the hand. And then his, then his karate chop leg coming up here, yeah, like that. And then we're going to draw another circle for the foot, just a little bit bigger than that because that's like karate chopping. And all skunks have a big bushy tail, so we're going to draw a line out here, like a big, like a big S. See that the big S? And then we'll start here again and go. That. See that? The big S. So we have our wireframe for the skunk, but just one last one, one, one last uh, thing before we put the details. I want to add the face. So at the bottom of the circle, of the circle head, I'm going to put a line like this, just real curvy from one, one part, part to the next. And then from over here, I want this. And what this is, is the wireframe for the face because this is the direction that the skunk is looking at. And when the two lines crisscross like that, right in the middle, that's where I'm gonna put his nose. So make sure you have that before we get go on to our further details. All right, now we're gonna start on the details. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie because again, it comes up better on the camera, but I still want you to use a pencil because it's easier to, it's easier to see where the lines are gonna be and what you want to keep and what you want to erase. So, before you get that sharpie, make sure you want to keep you want to make those permanent. Anyway, let's start with the nose. We'll start over here and we'll go like this. And we'll go back to this point and like that. And then we're gonna give him his eyes, but he's got he's got like crazy ninja eyes. Like that. Smile. It's kind of like grr, like that. We'll add some teeth. Put in his ears. We'll start right here at the top. Make it kind of pointy. Give him another one. Maybe some hair. Over here, we'll go ahead and add his hand, and we're gonna make it a fist. So, like a fist, the, the thumb is over here. So we'll we'll make the thumb this way, and then we'll add the fingers. Like that, and then from under here, we make the hand. See that? And then we'll make his arm 
Now he's wearing a robe, you know, like most ninjas are wearing like a ninja suit. So we're gonna make a circle like this. And it'll come back here, like that. Okay, and we'll make his arm inside the sleeve. Come back around here. Now again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be drawing exactly what I'm drawing. There's no rules in cartooning. So we're gonna add the other the other fist, the other hand. What I like to do is a little, little secret. I make the little line, and then I make a curvy in this, and then bump, bump, bump. Because you don't actually see the fingers, you just see the back of the hand. The hand goes here, and then starting at this spot, make another line. There. See that? See what I did? I made the fingers, the fingers are behind him. They don't actually see you. Again with the with the, the ninja outfit, we'll draw the sleeve. Draw it up here. Real simple, just like that, like a backwards L. And then we'll add the the wrist like that. And then over here for the rest of the robe or the ninja outfit. It kind of comes out a little bit. And then bring it back this way. Like that. Now for his legs, we'll do the same thing we did with the sleeves. We'll make a big circle like this. And don't close it up quite yet. Because we're going to want to do this. And all the way down here. Okay. Start up here and put that one right there. Yeah, we can make we can make the foot. Give him the toes. And then we'll make the leg right there. There's his ankle. Like that. See? Like it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't even know how many toes this gunk has. This gunk can have 19 toes. But however, how many ever, how, however many toes you want to put, you can put as many toes as you want. And then over here, we will make the other leg. Bring it down. Make a little curvy. And add to that. See that? Like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. Bring out the foot. Add the toes. I added three toes here, so I just put three toes there. But like I said, you can add as many toes as you want. I'm not sure how many toes the skunk actually has. So for the tail, you know, it's big and it's long, but it's also real poofy. And like a skunk. If you've seen a skunk like on TV or at the zoo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some fur to it. Which means I make a, a curvy line, kind of kind of not, not with our wireframe. But it kind of comes off. See that? See what I'm doing? And then I bring it back. Make it come off a little bit and bring it back. Do it again. See that? And then at the tip. I stop. I'll stop right there, and then I'll go back to here, and I'll do the same thing the other way. So I just start off, start off on the wireframe, and then come off. Bring it back. Start off, take it off, and bring it back. Okay. I'll we'll add the stripe. He has a big stripe, the big white stripe down his tail. I'll just make a, a, a slightly smaller S inside the bigger S. That. Okay, then we'll go back to his face because I forgot to draw his eyeballs. So we'll make an eyeball here and an eyeball here. And what, what ninja would be without a mask? So 
add, fill in these, and I'll draw his ninja mask, and that, that's going to go under here. So we'll start with these lines. This is for the eyebrows. Do you have that? Here. I always do this. I always make, like, then they tie it on the back of their head, they make a little ball like that. Okay, and then we'll make a small thing for his nose, and add this for his ears, and I think that's it. I think we're ready to uh, add in uh, the colors if you want to do that. Now here's a finished picture, all colored and looking spiffy. And uh, I want to see what yours looks like, so sign it just like I did, and send it to me at tuneme at bigfootgraphics.com, and I would love to see it. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by and drawing some cool cartoons with me today. Send in your drawings and your requests for future YouTube videos to tuneme at bigfootgraphics.com. Now check out a featured artist from the bigfootgraphics.com student gallery.